Okay, question number 14. Here we've got um, two mathematically similar cups. Okay, so that means we've got an enlargement taking place, a scale factor. Okay, so uh, if we went from B to A, so if we go from this way, look, the 8 becomes 12. So I can get the scale factor by doing 12 divided by 8, which comes out to be 1.5 is the scale factor for the lengths. Okay, if we're coming back the other way to find out what D is, we need to do 9 divided by the scale factor when I come back the other way. So divided by 1.5 comes out to be 6. Okay, now that scale factor is for the length. Whereas if we want to the difference in the volumes in part B, the volume of B is 160 millilitres. Okay. If the length scale factor is 1.5, then the volume scale factor will be 1.5 cubed. So it is 1.5 cubed that is going to need timesing by 160, and that answer comes out to be 540. Part C, again, mathematically similar. The surface area have got certain values in there. So the area scale factor to go from P to Q, okay, is going to be Q over P. Now that is the area scale factor. Now if we're going to be working out what the weights are, okay, then we need the volume scale factor because the weight is dependent on the volume. So if I've got an area scale factor, firstly, it's going to need square rooting to find the length scale factor. And then it is going to need cubing to find the weight or the volume scale factor. And whatever the weight or the volume is of P, which is, so it's the weight, isn't it? So we want the, w, we want the weight of P, which is W, and then it is that that needs times in by the scale factor, final answer.